Hey what's up everyone, in this video today I'm going to show you how to make this 3D iPhone mockup in less than 3 minutes using Splice tool and then we're going to generate countless of gorgeous looking variation using this new AI feature so let's get into it Alright so here we are in Splice tool so I'm creating a new file here uh, so let's get rid of this uh, default rectangles and I'm going to uh, click on the library button here to open the library so from here you can find a lot of cool object here to kick start with so I'm going to search for an iPhone and then here we go so all you have to do is just drag the iPhone to your scene and then voila there's a really cool 3d iPhone to play around with and the next thing I want to do is to add some rock to the scene so I'm going to go to sketchfab.com and from here you can search for uh, a rock models and make sure to turn on the downloadable uh, toggle to filter down the result and I quite like this one so let's click on it so yeah this one has really nice detail so uh, let's see if I can download it so all you have to do is just scroll down and then you see that this download button here is available so let's click on it and select GLB format and I'm going to select this 1k texture version uh, so it could be uh, optimized for uh, viewing and uh, perform in slides and once the download is finished you can just drag this GLB files and drop it to slide and here we go we have the rock in the scene so let me just uh, move it to the right position and also uh, adjust the scaling to make a nice composition with the phone mockup all right so now we have this really nice composition here so next thing i will adjust the material of the rock so it could blend into the scene a little bit better so uh, but first thing i need to uh, change the background color so all you have to do is you click on this empty space here on the left menu and you can change the color on the right panels uh, so i'm going to select a much darker blue color like this and then let's select the last layer of the phone group uh, so we can have the material shows up on the right panel here and with the material i'm going to uh, change the color to um, a much darker colors like this and it's nothing changing because we have a texture image on top so let's switch it to overlay blending mode so now you can see that the texture is being blended to the base color and the next thing I want to do is to move the directional light to the angle that make the scene looks better so I think it works really well with this a little bit of rim light and also uh, increase the intensity of the lights a little bit so we create this really nice contrast between the light and the shadow and you can also select the phone and just the material to make it a little bit darker so uh, it can really blend into this scene and then to complete the scene, I added more rock into it. So I download another rock and put it in here and also apply the same process for the material to make it blend into the environment. All right, so after a few adjustments, this is what I'm kind of happy with. So now I'm going to select the phone models and find the screen material and click here to update it to my uh, own screen design. So I have this JPEG here and all I have to do is select it. And now we have this really nice mockup uh, with uh, whatever customized screen that you want. Uh, so now let's get to the fun part so now I wanted to use this as a base and we're going to use this new AI feature to generate countless of variation for this mockup so let's click here and then it will give you this kind of framing here so it indicate the resolve canvas so I'm going to click here to edit it to uh, full HD resolutions and then click on assets frame to go back to the main viewport so i'm going to zoom in a little bit to have a nice composition like this all right so now on the right panel there's a lot of different style presets that you can select so let's try this one clay style and it's gonna process for a few seconds so all you have to do is wait and bam it's gonna give you something like this so overall it remains the same positioning the angles but it will customize all of the other object into a particular style so let's try something like geometrical style so we have something like this so i think it's looking pretty cool like the details and everything uh, is uh, really on point 
the only thing is that the phone uh, is a little bit um, losing a little bit of the details but I think we can totally fix it in Photoshop so uh, let's try another one let's let's see how it's gonna turn out with this first style and we have something like this so I think overall the the, the, the look and feel is looking really nice uh, the details a little bit abstract well I think that's the whole point that we can create a really crazy looking uh, mock-up uh, that's really unique and another thing that you can do is go to the modifier tab and from here there's a lot of options for you to select uh, to adjust the results so I'm going to try with the top lighting so basically it's gonna give you a different lighting uh, it's gonna remain pretty much the same kind of style but it's gonna give you uh, variation of the lighting and also uh, we have a lot of category here like the weather temperatures um, so let's try the time of the day uh, so let's see how it's gonna look like with sunrise and yeah it's looking pretty good uh, so yeah overall I think it's give you a pretty decent um, tool and option for you to play around to create something really cool and unique uh, depends on what you need to do and another cool thing is that you can always change the camera angle to whatever angle that you feel like to and create a set of different angles 3d mock-up pack uh, that you can you know demonstrate your work and once you're happy with any of these you can click on export to save the image uh, as jpeg so i'm going to save this one and then i'm going to save the original render as another jpeg And then I'm going to open Photoshop and let's drag and drop the original render here and also the other renders on top of it. So we have two renders almost exactly the same position. So I'm going to uh, duplicate the uh, original render as a layer and move it to the top. And from here, I'm going to uh, separate the screen by using this simple cut tool. And use this to create a mask and then we're going to mask this whole layers so we can only show the screen so now we have the screen on top of the other layers so with this setup you can have the original screen and then we can replace any render beneath it so we can have like a whole pack of different style for one particular angles of this mockup so this is the end of my tutorial today so i hope you find this one helpful so what i did is just a very simple example of what you can do with this so you can be creative and apply it to many different scenarios in your design process so yeah stay safe enjoy your day and i will see you in the next one